to the Advanced Prostate Cancer Support Group, where men with advanced prostate cancer help each other with information and support. Content of this video is the sole responsibility of the speakers in this video. It is not endorsed by the group, nor by the PCFA, with which the group is affiliated. See something interesting? Ask your doctor about it. I'm Jim Marshall. I'm the convener of the Advanced Prostate Cancer Support Group. Today I'll be talking on why Zytiga needs to be on the PBS before chemotherapy instead of afterwards as it is now. If you are a man with prostate cancer, if a man you care deeply about has prostate cancer, if someone you know has prostate cancer, if someone you knew had prostate cancer, you can help get the drug Zytiga, also called abiraterone, listed on the PBS, so men with progressive disease can have a much improved quality of life. It will help to understand the need if you know something about prostate cancer treatment. Imagine a dozen men with prostate cancer. Of these 12 men, two men will already have the cancer spread to other parts of the body, metastasized. Three of the men will have high risk prostate cancer. Seven men will not have high risk cancer. If these seven men are given initial treatment with surgery or radiation, few of them will have the cancer return. There are three men with high-risk prostate cancer. If these three men with high-risk cancer are given primary treatment, two of them will not have the cancer return. So, three men of the dozen will need long-term treatment. That treatment is hormone therapy, also called androgen deprivation therapy, or ADT. Let's look next at the treatment these men will be given for their now returned cancer, hormone therapy. Though it can keep many men alive long enough to die of other diseases of old age, Hormone therapy will eventually fail. The next step currently, unless you're quite wealthy, is chemotherapy. When this fails, you can get Zytiga on the PBS. But what is being considered for the PBS today is a different order of these treatments. An important new order. A man would go on Zytiga first, before taking the harsher chemotherapies. When Zytiga fails, then, is the time for chemotherapy. When chemotherapy fails, you might imagine starting Zytiga again. But there is no evidence it would work, and the government would not pay for two bites of the cherry. Let's look at Zytiga when it is used before chemotherapy. Firstly, you should understand it is not a magic drug that cures all prostate cancer. This is used for men who have failed hormone therapy, who are castrate resistant, we say. Not everyone responds. In the main clinical trial before chemotherapy, 62% of the men had a confirmed PSA response. The response isn't permanent. However, you will see that it will lengthen and considerably improve the quality of survival. Let's look at this in detail. Zytiga has many benefits. It extends life by a few months. But this is not the major benefit for most men with advancing prostate cancer. 
The fierce pain felt at this stage of the illness is greatly delayed for 18 months longer than the alternative treatment used in the clinical trial. Closely related to that is the postponing of the mind-numbing morphine family drugs that make a full family life difficult. PSA takes twice as long to rise. Scans show tumours reducing twice as often with Zytiga compared to the alternative treatment used in the clinical trial. And finally, the harsher chemotherapy can wait more than two years for the responders. So, if Zytiga increases overall survival, delays pain intensity progression, delays mind-numbing opiate use, doubles time to PSA rise, double shrinkage seen on scans, delays cytotoxic chemotherapy. We can see that on Zytiga, before chemo, men who respond are more likely to enjoy their family role as husbands or partners, fathers, grandfathers, uncles, and their roles in business or the community. You can make a difference by answering five questions. One about your treatment, if that applies. Three important questions about the benefits of the drug for you, for your family, and if it's put on the PBS. The last question is a simple one about the process. Is the form OK? These may be done on your computer or on a paper copy that may be posted to you. A few words may be enough here for question one. What treatment, if any, are you using now? Uh, something like monitoring my PSA every three months, or my partner is on ADT, or I have just finished Taxotere chemotherapy. Question two, what do you see as the benefits of this new medicine to you? We've come to the most important three questions. The people looking at this question are clinical experts. They know how the drug works. What they are especially interested in is your opinion as an interested member of the public. So sentences starting with I or we may be a good idea for the, these three questions, two, three and four. Your answer to question two will talk about how you personally would appreciate extra freedom from pain, from harsher chemotherapies, from strong painkillers, and so on. Question three, how will your life and that of your family be, and carers be improved by this new medicine? What extra time free from pain, morphine, chemotherapy will do for your family? those who care for you, and perhaps your local community. Question four. What other benefits can you see from having this medicine on the PBS? Of course, if it goes on the PBS, you won't be paying thousands of dollars a month for it. You'll be able to afford it. As well as that, you'll be sa saved travel to hospital for treatment and so on. Question five, do you have any comments on the consumer input process? Uh, very simple, this one. Did you like having been asked? Was the online form okay? If you used the paper form, was it okay? Two critical things for your valuable contribution not to be lost. If you use the computer near the bottom of the page, you must find and tick a small box accepting the terms of reference, and on the computer, the form only goes in if you click the Submit button at the very bottom of the page. If you sent for the paper form, I guess you will also have to tick a similar box and post it back so it's received before Monday the 11th of June.
2014. And where can you find the online form? A link to the online form is at the very top of our webpage on jimjimjimjim.com. That's the word Jim four times. No spaces. Dot com. Nothing else. Just Jim 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 dot com. Also there at the top of the page you will find the phone number to call for a paper form to fill in and post back if you'd rather do it that way. A link to the scientific product information that is the basis of this proposal is also there. That is important if you wish to be sure of your facts, because remember, the guy who made this video is not a doctor or in any way qualified in this area. Thanks for your time.